Right, welcome to this year 11 revision video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to construct an isometric circle uh, in a cuboid or a cube. Right, um, an isometric circle appears very similar to an ellipse I suppose but depending on the position in the isometric drawing it will vary. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to do it here, also how to do it here so that you can see the, the difference between the alignment and the positioning. Right, so I have an isometric cube drawn with the isometric set square, the 30, 60 degree set square. Um, so you can see here this line and this line and this line are in this direction. <coughs> this line, this line and this line are in that direction. And finally one, two and three are all in the vertical position. So what I'm going to start by doing, I'm going to be using my 30 degree angle to create a line through the center of my circle. Then I'm going to take my 60 degree hypotenuse, I suppose as you might call it, from the set square to draw a line through the isometric square that way. Then I'm going to divide it this way with a vertical line and this way with a 30 degree line. So as you can see here, the circle is now divided, the square is now divided into segments, as you might call them. Then what you want to do, you want to imagine that this shape is a kite. So almost imagine it in this particular position, okay, a wide kite. What you want to do from that wide kite is take a line from the top to the middle of that bottom left line. And you take a line from the middle to the top right line. So looking at it from the wide kite position, you end up with two parallel lines, almost like windscreen wipers on the windscreen of a vehicle, and we have those two lines. Then what we're looking for is where those last two lines we've drawn intersect with the longest line going for our square, and we're going to mark points A and B. Now these points are very important, because they're going to be the points where you position your compass point, then you take the tip or the pencil of your compass and you position it basically on this line that goes through the middle of the, of the square. You could also start it from positioning down here, either are acceptable, but there we have it. Right, so I'm ready to make an arc. So I draw my arc from point to point. Okay, that's at point B. Now point A is exactly the same, you shouldn't need to resize your compass. Let me do exactly the same. Uh, the opposite end. Okay, so what you have here is two arcs. Again, looking at in this position, we can see there's a line of symmetry down the middle, and we have these two arcs. Then what we do, we take our compass point and put it at the bottom of the square. We join it to where we finished off, okay, with those arcs. So make sure it's perfectly aligned. And then you should be able to join those two arcs with a line. You repeat the same from the top, and you continue basically from where you left off at the bottom. And as you can see it now, we've created our isometric circle. So looking at it in this position, you can see there that's all in good proportion, and we have an isometric circle. Now the same applies really to the other end. Okay, exactly the same technique, one this way. Uh, one line here through the middle, one line here through the center, and our vertical line going through the middle. Now I'm trying to get this done quite quickly. As you can see, any lack of accuracy here with your line drawing is obviously going to affect the accuracy of your final isometric circle. Uh, we then take our lines, as we, as we did before, so one from the top to there, another one from the bottom to here. We find our intersections, call those A and B, take our compass, draw an arc, take our compass, and draw another arc. Sometimes, if you do this quickly, as you can see, you're going to lose a bit of accuracy. Obviously, the more time you spend on making sure your lines are perfectly lined up, then you're going to have a better outcome. 
okay as you can see here finish off the ellipse or do a symmetric circle and there we have it okay and um, for this particular situation again exactly the same process before we do anything let's make sure we do this one going through the middle line this way remember my that should be your job in the exam making sure you're accurate with your construction I have a time limit here in my videos, so I'm trying to be as quick as possible. If you need to pause it, feel free to do so. We've got A and B, compass, put it at the top, and draw your arc. There we have it. Three isometric circles in an isometric cube. Um, and you know the, the process is exactly the same for all three of them. You just need to kind of understand your perspective and your positioning. Good luck, have a go yourselves. This is quite common in the exam. So uh, particularly in paper two, obviously where you're asked to draw isometric circles as part of 3D shapes, and this can be quite handy to know. So good luck and uh, get revising. <laughs>